you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you her graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed do you know, I look at so many believers and I see the way I hate seeing people suffering. It is not just because it is my call. Every time I see this, I immediately take responsibility. Remember my vision that I shared with you of years ago? No food, no water. Who is the cause? That was a whole generation speaking. Sometimes I'm not an emotional person ordinarily, honestly. I've seen all kinds of things and sometimes I even ask myself whether I'm all right. Is it that you don't cry? Can't you? I'm, I'm, it doesn't mean I'm not touched, but I can just stand like a stone there. But let me tell you sincerely, you want to see tears from my eyes? Let me see oppression and God's people being reduced to become like Noah animals, spiritually, financially, and, in, and otherwise. That one has triggered compassion. I can cry and weep like a baby. Do you know what it means to see a family of five people, six people on their way to church? No money, no food, but they love Jesus. And you say they don't have faith? What is your definition of faith? I want to prophesy and they kneel down with their hands open, expecting to receive. And at the end of it, we share the grace. One year becomes two years, becomes five years, and absolutely nothing happened what of family members who say apostle i hear you know people send me text messages and sometimes they say apostle i've heard the mighty things that god is doing with you if you can only speak the word i know my mother or my brother and sometimes i i take that burden and i say lord these people believe in me and they believe in you help me to stop disappointing you let there be a higher level of power and a higher level of grace The day you meet your father, they've been laughing at you and say, you are a, I hear that you are going to be a man of God. Say, my friend, go and look for a job. Wait, go and buy federal government form and look for a job. Ministry that is full of failures. And you look at your father and say, Daddy, you have been on this bed for five years. I come in the name of the Lord. I am your son. But I come by the authority of the one who has sent me. Stand up. And your father stands up and begins to walk around the compound what happened jesus healed what happened jesus delivered what happened jesus saved it's a different thing to say ah god healed somebody somewhere and the person says i am healed people will easily be able to doubt this is a generation that wants to see the power of god not just here you can doubt what you hear, but you cannot doubt what you see. Is God speaking to someone tonight? In one minute before I continue, I want you to lay your hands on your head and say, Lord, I am available. Trust me with higher levels of your power. Trust me with higher levels of your grace. Someone is praying. You are crying to the God of heaven. Higher levels of your power. Higher levels of your grace. There needs to be results, 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 results in my life, results in my Christian experience. Results. demonstrations that Jesus is alive winning nations in a moment by the power of his word backed up by authentic genuine superior spiritual power in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus
I've read a few books about the saints past and mighty men and women of God and I have seen God move through their lives in very mighty and spectacular ways not just in the area of healing but bringing genuine breakthrough genuine transformation whole families translated from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of his son let me tell you the truth i have seen whole families saved non-christian families beginning from maybe someone in the family and then father mother sisters brothers we are not speaking from a standpoint of weakness we are speaking from a standpoint of higher levels of hunger for more that yesterday's anointing cannot suffice for today's challenges there needs to be a higher level and a higher dimension of God's grace there are nations today that were revival hubs but today they have become a historic monument sites where people go there to just feel bad and say God you once moved here there are nations and continents that if you wanted to see what God was doing, you would have to travel to those regions. Today, when you go there, all you see are grave sites, monuments that once upon a time, God moved. By this teaching, the Spirit of God is hovering around the earth again one last time saying anyone who is available anyone doesn't matter what family you are coming from anyone who is available does not matter who knows you or who does not know you whether you are male or female anyone preacher i know you don't speak well but anyone anyone who thirsts he says in the third day that great day of the feast he said anyone who thirsts come let him come it's an invitation blessed be the man that god causes to approach him come For someone God is calling you you came to church tonight and God is saying I'm extending an invitation the dreams that you saw does not have to end as dreams Apostle I saw Smith Wigglesworth that's not enough telling the world you saw him is not what they want when Elisha carried the mantle of Elijah the sons of the prophet said the spirit of Elijah doth rest upon Elisha saving nations in one day bringing territories to the obedience of Christ in one day in one moment in one encounter we don't have the time to go city by city again the time is near we don't have the time to go conference by conference again taking regions and taking nations by the power and the fire of Jesus hallelujah please write if you can let me share with you three platforms for accessing superior levels of the power of God and then we'll pray Someone God brought you to church to plant a fire that will not die soon. Mm. This fire that is coming upon you is not planning to leave you soon. It will burn everything until you become an inferno of fire. There are men and women that will rise up in this end time. From a standpoint of power, you will not even know who is male and female again. There will be people carrying authentic power. Authentic power. Authentic power. Authentic power. We will fade away this this era of faking miracles this era of stage managing all kinds of things and introduce something authentic to the world again more than good speaking more than oratory more than intellectualism and philosophy 
Oh, let the power of God come again. Come upon this generation. Maranatha, let your power come. Come upon our homes. Come upon our families. Come upon our pulpits. Come upon our churches. Maranatha, come, come, O oh God, come, O oh God, let your name not be to a reproach, come, O oh God, visit families again, come, O oh God, visit Africa again, come, O oh God. Visit Nigeria again. Come, oh God. Visit the West again. Visit the East again. Visit the South South again. Visit the North again. Pray one minute and say, Lord, visit again. Visit again. Visit again. Don't tell me Apostle Babalola's story. He has gone. Visit us again. Don't tell me about Archbishop Benson Itahosa. He has joined the cloud of witnesses. Visit again, oh God. Don't tell me about Catherine Kuhlman. Don't tell me about Emmy Temple McPherson. Visit again, oh God. Let history be rewritten. Someone pray. Someone pray. Someone pray. Revive us again. Shabakatakatosketea. Visit again. Visit again. In your power. Visit again. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus.